Hello and welcome back to Budget with Becca. This video is going to be a little different than my normal content, but it still has to do with finance and personal finance, so I thought I would share. I recently just got back from my vacation, and when you go on vacation, you normally bring some nice reads for when you're at the beach. So I wanted to pick up some books that I would not really normally get a chance to read unless I was on vacation, so I found some personal finance books that I thought would be very interesting and that I wanted to share with you all on this channel because some of you may be interested in finding books that um, would help you with your personal finance. So there's a few things that I was looking for when I went to pick up these books or when I started looking for books that I wanted to read and that was I wanted one book that was a Canadian, had to do with Canadian facts um, and made it so I can relate it to my own life and two I wanted it to have to do with my age group so around the millennial ages and th my third one is I wanted a book about women and finance that way as well so I picked up two of these books and I will show you and I've read them and I also want to show you what my third book is going to be that I will start reading very soon so the first book I'm sorry this is going to be a one take so I'm going to just push that one off here. So the first book was Personal Finance for Millennials. Now this is the Canada's Guide to. There is a bunch of these books for millennials, for retiring. There's one that's just personal finance. There's a long, long list. So if you're not looking for millennials, you might be looking for other things. I think there was also one on maybe buying a house. So this is a broad chapter, kind of like um, blank for dummies. So I would look into this if you're very interested. And the fact that it's Canadian is great. So it focuses on what we have in Canada in regards to personal finance. So the beauty of this book that I liked is it gave a lot of examples of what to do in your own life as well as practical options. This didn't focus on just like debt-free living as some of you may not be like that or some of you may be following the Dave Ramsey method. I do like this Dave Ramsey-ish thing so it's a little bit of I want to work towards debt-free but also there's other goals that I want to have in mind and books like these help you understand what might work best for you. So there's lots of options. It's also great for defining different um, terminology that we have in the personal finance world, like what a TFSA and an RSP and just a whole bunch of other terms that I did not know about until I read these books. And it is great because again, it's for millennials. So right around my age group and going on with what my goals are for right now and for the future. So it also talks about a lot about online banking and online spending and low cost, also debt free. It has lots of options. It's a very quick read. I've already um, ear tagged or bended the pages for a few parts that I want to reread and go back but this is a great book if you are looking for personal finance for Millennials you'll find a lot of good and practical advice in this book now the second one is the one that I wanted that had to focus on being a female. And so this one is Rich Girl, Broke Girl, Save Better, Invest Smarter, and Earn Financial Freedom. So I, like I said, I'm doing like a Dave Ramsey-ish. And so the way I've kind of mapped that is I just want to be financially free. That is my goal. I don't want to be strapped down with debt and worrying about it every month. So if that's me being debt free by the end of this journey, then, then that's the goal. But I wanted to get it a perspective from a female in Canada and how to support other females. Now, this book was very interesting because the way she did it, is she did it as if it was different case studies or different situations. So there's a story about each person and then they, she goes into what she went wrong with. So there's lots of different examples that you can find that reflect into your own life. And then what she did wrong, she maps it out and says why. So she calls it missteps in these stories and then the solution. Then she offers her solution steps on how to do it. And it's great for if you need to learn how to do that as well, you can kind of map the different case studies that she has in here. And there's a lot of little um, points of great, uh, great points, sorry, that would be helpful, like what's in your wallet, what you should have in your wallet, not having too many cards. Again, it also talks about TFSAs and defines all of that, um, about debt. So it's a great read, the cryptocurrency, a lot about investing and finances. So this is another great read. So if you're looking for anything that has to do with maybe millennials or personal finance around my age, my age group, which I'm 25, or around the millennial age, I would highly suggest these two books. Also, this one's just great to read as a female. There's a lots of different case studies, like I said, that would you might find that match you, as well as this. There's so many. If you don't want the Millennials one, there is a lot of books by the Canadian's Guide too. Now, the next book I'm going to read, like I mentioned, 
is another one by this author, Kelly Keene, I believe that's how you pronounce her last name, um, because I enjoyed this one so much. She has another one that just came out that has to do with times after COVID. I feel like it's very similar to this one. I've already read a few chapters. Um, seems very similar to this rich bro girl, broke girl, but um, I am interested to kind of see. So maybe you want to pick up this one over this one, but um, so far, so I'm liking this. And there's a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences as it's talking about life after COVID or after big financial stresses. So these are the books that I, these are the two books that I have read recently that you might be interested in reading. And also if there's any books that you have read out there that you found interesting or that helped with your personal finance journey, please leave them in the comments below because I am very, very interested and I'm really enjoying reading currently. And so I want to see if there's any books that I can read that have to do with per personal finance to help grow my knowledge and my understanding as well as support my journey. So thank you so much for watching. I know this was a quick one take. Um, I Hopefully I explained everything, but I will leave links below for both of these, all three of these books. And I know when you read the captions, it shares a lot more than probably what I talked about. But I just want to say that these two books were very helpful for me in my journey, and I'm interested in starting to read this one. So thank you so much. If you have not done so, please subscribe. I do videos on personal finance, cash stuffing, and anything to do with my personal finance journey. My next video will be next week on ending out the month of March. I was about to say April, ending out the month of March. So if you like it, please like this video and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.